Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. 2016 question 3 on coordinate geometry, the line. The circle C has centered 2 minus 3 and a radius of 4 centimetres. Write down the equation of C. OK, so write down the equation of a circle. So straight to the log tables, page 19. So page 18 and 19 is coordinate geometry. The line is mainly on page 18. And then the circle is here. And, and it's mainly just this top piece you need for the uh, ordinary level course. So the equation of a circle, x minus h to be squared plus y minus k to be squared is equal to r squared. And up here, just before it, it says, given the center hk, so whatever the center is of your circle, you label hk, and your radius is r. OK, so I am going to write that down here. So hk, x minus h to be squared plus y minus k to be squared is equal to r squared. So that's taken straight from your log tables. Your center is 2 minus 3. So you label your center as hk and your radius is 4. OK, so that becomes x minus 2 to be squared plus y minus minus 3 to be odd to be squared is equal to 4 squared. OK, and just tidying that up, x minus 2 to be squared, we don't work out the left hand side, plus y, we would tidy up minus minus, that's a plus to be squared is equal to 16, okay? So when you're giving your answer for the equation of a circle, we tend not to work out the left-hand side, but we do work out R squared. So that's that first part, so it was lovely. Draw the equation, draw the equation C on the grid opposite. Each unit on the coordinate grid is one centimeters. Okay, so um, if I wasn't doing this online, if I was doing it on paper, I would have my compass, and I would be putting the needle of my compass on the center, which is 2 minus 3. So here, OK? So 2 down to minus 3, OK? So that's the center of my circle. My radius is 4, OK? Which means that from here out to the edge, anywhere, is four, okay? And I'm going to draw a circle around it, okay? But to draw that circle, okay, I need to have another starting point on my circle. So my needle is going here, the other, my pencil needs to go on the edge somewhere. So where is a radius of four? The easiest way to do it when you're drawing it is to go straight across or straight up to, to draw in your four, okay? A diagonal of four is harder to draw. So to go up uh, four, there's minus three, there's up one, up two, up three, up four. I'd be going up there to one. Okay, I'll just rub them out. Okay, so just to explain, there's one, so two, three. That didn't work so well. There's one, two, three, four. So there's my radius of four. Of course, I could have gone over here and go one, two, three, four. And that would be another point on the circumference of my circle, okay? So I'm going to leave that arrow there and that arrow there so that you'll see that they'll end up being on the circumference of my circle. Okay. So let's try and draw that now. Um, let's try again. Mm, not quite. But anyway, I won't worry too much about it. I'm going to try again. Let's try and draw it freehand. Okay, something like that. Okay, so with your compass, you would draw that. Uh, mark in your center as 2 minus 3. It no more looks like a circle now than the man the moon. Right, your radius is 4, um, and you will have drawn your circle. Okay. C, verify using algebra that the point 3, 1 is outside the circle. Okay, so how do you do that? 
Well, the equation of a circle is, is the formula that links all the points on the outside of a circle together. Okay, so in other words, if we sub in any point and it's on the outside of that circle, um, we should get the left-hand side equal to the right. So just to, to, to show the formula in action, remember we said that another point on the outside of that circle would have been over here, which would have been minus two, minus three, okay? We think that's on the circle, okay? So let's sub it into the equation of that circle. Okay, so that's my X, that's my Y. Um, X is minus two, minus two to be squared. So that X value went in here. Okay, that Y value is going to go in here, the minus three plus minus three plus three to be squared is equal to 16. Minus two minus two is minus four squared is 16. Minus three plus three is zero, squared is zero, and I am getting 16 is equal to 16. Okay, so therefore that point we say is on the circle. Okay, and that's what we use the equation of a circle. That's one of the jobs we use the equation of the circle for, to test if the points is on the line. How does it work? Well, it's, it's constantly comparing it to R squared, okay? Now everything is squared. So it's comparing it to the radius. So obviously if the length of that left-hand side um, is related to the radius, then any point you choose on the circumference is of course going to be equal to a function of the radius. OK, so that's what's happening in that formula. If a point is outside the circle, which is the question we were asked, when you compare the left hand side to the radius squared, you should get a bigger value on the left hand side because the point is outside the circle. So the distance from the center, because remember we have the center in here, the distance from the center out to that point is further than the radius. And in the same way, if you test a point inside the circle, what you'll find is that the left-hand side will be less than that radius. Um, and of course it is because you're comparing it to a function of the radius. Okay, so let's do that. I'm going to, to clear out this bit here where we tested a point on the, um, on the circle. Let's do the question we were asked, which is this part C. Okay, so our point is 3, 1. That's the point that we're testing. And our equation of a circle is like such. And there's a similar test to uh, show that a point is on a line. Um, so it's the same theory. We take the point that we think is on that line um, and we sub it into the equation of that line. Okay, so let, let's try this. Let's see it working. So Instead of x, I'm putting in the three that's up here, minus two squared plus, instead of y, I'm putting in the one that's up there, plus three squared is equal to 16. Okay, so three minus two is one, uh, one squared is one, three and one is four, four squared is 16. So I'm getting 17 is equal to 16. Well, it's not equal to it, it's greater than seven, 16, Therefore, point is outside the circle. Okay, and that's how you do that one. Where is that point three one? It's, we'll draw it on my fabulous drawing and see does it work. Well, of course, we're going to, I'm going to get it to look like it's on the circle because of my great drawing. Okay, but that's it. it's not too far outside the circle. You can see that because 17 isn't that much bigger than 16, but it does sit outside the circle. Okay, find the area of the smallest four-sided figure that will fit around this circle, okay? So you have a circle and you want to put a, a square around it and it has to be the smallest square possible, okay? Well, the smallest square is going to be from diameter to diameter. Can you see that? And of course, there's a diameter here as well. And then that's a diameter, okay? And if that's the length of the side that runs through the center of the circle, well, then 
the square is also going to have sides that are the diameter. OK, and I'm going to just put a little D around there. OK, so I hope that makes sense. So if our radius is four, therefore our diameter is twice that, it's eight. OK, area of a square is equal to length by width. And if it's a square, the sides are the same. So we're going to get eight by eight to be 64. Let me rub this out now. 64 units squared. Why units squared? Because I don't know if this four, this radius of four, I'm getting is centimeters or millimeters or meters or kilometers or whatever it is. But whatever units it is, I'm getting 64 units squared. If you are interested in technology or engineering, but are not doing higher level maths, why not consider our level seven in electronic and computer engineering? This is a three-year programme that looks at the design and development of embedded electronic systems. These are the medical devices that keeps us healthy, the consumer devices that keeps us entertained, or the controlled systems that keeps us safe on the road. You can then progress onto the level eight in electronics and self-driving technologies and from there to the masters. Check out the link below for more information.